Well, hello there, friends. Today, I'm going to do a very quick $1 million demonstration and tutorial on how to clean the section on the Pelican demonstrator pens. As you might know, the Pelican demonstrators have this little sleeve here that kind of holds the nib unit in place when you screw it in. To be honest, I don't know why they did that. It's kind of a pain in the neck to clean. So for years, I've had trouble clearing this section. You can leave some detergent in here or pen flush over days and sometimes weeks. It clears to the, for the most part, but not completely. So recently I discovered a genius way to clean this section and clean that section by hand. I'm not kidding. So let's get to it. I have here Aero Shizuku Yuyaki. That's the ink. It's been sitting in here for about three to four weeks. If the ink has been here for a day or two, it's easy to flush using the conventional techniques, which I will go through. But if it's been sitting here for like three weeks, good luck. Let's start by getting rid of the ink. And I'm going to unscrew the nib to clean this. It's very, very difficult. I'm going to start with the bulb syringe, just so I don't scratch the barrel very much. So I'll take the plunger in. So this is what we're left with after flushing it once with the bulb syringe. I want to bring this up a bit and use the conventional method that I have seen on the internet on how to clean this. I'm going to basically find that ridge where the sleeve sits inside the barrel. Just flush. Very nice. Cleaned. A little bit. Again, same. Same. Go all around. So what I do now is I bring the plunger almost all the way up to the top. Yep. Fill this with water all the way to the top. See that? It's full. Here's my trick. Put your finger here. Screw the plunger in. Screw it in. Screw it in. Suction, 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 all the way. You're kind of giving a workout to the piston. Meanwhile, creating a suction. You see what's happening, right? So the ink is mobilizing and going into your, the water in the barrel. Leave it for a minute. I release the piston. You can see that some of it goes back in the section if you release it. Okay, so we got some of the ink out. Now, release your finger. Get rid of this water. Big difference, right? So, let's repeat. Screw the section, make suction, create suction. Create suction here. See that literally the ink just keeps walking up into the water. And you try to capture the ink with the water from the section. Again, bring it all the way up, fill it up to the top. Don't leave any air, and then just with your finger, you see. Give it a shake. Slowly that ink dissipates from the section into the water. 
this ink has been sitting in the pen for weeks and it's not that I let the ink sit in the pen it's just that I use this pen almost daily I just use many pens on a daily basis so some of these pens the ink doesn't deplete as quickly as others I have a medium nib in here which is pretty juicy but the ink capacity on this pen is immense so you can see what the difference it made so I just give it a shake and the opposite of ultra true you can also push the piston against the water and resistance that will also create some pressure but that can spray the water over on your computer and stuff so I wouldn't do that I go with the piston creating suction Pushing back up, giving some pressure, creating pressure in the in the barrel. That will force the remaining ink out of the that little section. You see that most of the ink is out now. Just a little bit ring left here, and that's just a matter of time. So the ink the ink is not sitting there anymore. So at this point. What I do is I either move on with the day and put the section back on, but I'm I'm very type A, so make sure the ink is completely off. So now I put some pen flush on here. You can leave this for a couple hours and it will clear. Or you can just keep at it like we did before put on this suction and just let it sit for a minute while you watch TV or Netflix or whatever you can see that it slowly starts to fade and that ring slowly starts to disappear and we didn't really need any special tools to remove the to remove that sleeve inside I wish there was a way because it would make it a lot easier to clean so we'll give this a little bit of time and then revisit the issue another huge tip that I can give you today is imagine you want to hold a pen like this upright and you're type A like me, you don't want to put this on a wooden pen stand or a metallic pen stand. So you want something to hold this up gently so it doesn't scratch. What do you do? And also you want it to be snug and not wobble. And you want it to stand straight. What do you do? You either make your own or you go to Michael's. Buy this art stand. I think this is for standing like scissors and this, this crochet stuff. And brushes, anything art related. And our hobby is kind of an art. This is great because it can hold this pen. It can hold something that's much slimmer, like this nib section. So the bridging nib section, you can put it right here. You can hold it snug, straight. And what about something thicker? This is Magna Carta Mic 1000, huge. This is the largest, thickest pen I have. You can just push that in here too. So all in one pen stand and art stand this they sell the the teal colored version of this in michael's i think it's like 16 dollars around 16 dollars or so but that would be a mistake to buy it from them because this on amazon this color which is better than the teal it's the teal version i don't know some people may prefer that but i find this better it kind of matches everything else uh this on amazon two of these is for, i think for like eight nine dollars this one of these is $16. It's stiffer. So if you want something to hold more sturdy, you get that. But this I've never had a problem with. It's easier actually to operate. So I prefer this over the Michaels version.
I think it's a ripoff, to be honest, but it, this is a ripoff that's better than the original. So that's another tip. And as we've been sitting here, you can see that our section has pretty much cleared. And I can see the haze still there on the camera, but in person, I have a really hard time seeing that. You can see that the section is pretty much clear. And if you are more type A than I am, and you want to, for example, sell the pen or, you know, put it on display or for shows and you want absolutely no hue or halo or evidence that this pen was inked, you can just sit, let the pen flush sit in there for a little bit longer. What I do next is clean the nib section. It's a plastic, so it's not gonna harm the nib. Let it sit there for a minute. Take it back out. Clean. You have to keep in mind that there is a hole here that ink goes through that also needs to be cleaned. I'm going to flush this with pen flush. So depending on how clean you want it, you can let this sit in the distilled water overnight, or you can just flush it if you just want to change the ink. It seems pretty good to me now. Make sure this part is clean so that, <coughs> make sure this part is clean so that the section doesn't look dirty again as soon as you put the nib on. I'm going to dump this. Flush it with water to make sure there's no pen flush residue. And ta-da, million dollar result, handmade. In fact, why don't I just try this? Just, just back on. It looks like new again. So that's how you clean the section the nib section on a Pelican clear demonstrator. To me, this is a genius trick because to achieve similar results in terms of cleaning the section without this trick, I've had to use bleach and let it sit there, diluted bleach for days and days and still wouldn't achieve similar results. So I feel like this is a great way to clean it. You see that I did this real time. It took me about 20 minutes for the tutorial and everything for showing how it's done and cleaning it. Now usually it's going to be a lot quicker. You can just let some of the, after you create suction and get most of the ink out, you can let the pen flush sit in there for a little bit. It'll clear it very, very nicely. I hope you find this useful and let others know how to do this as well. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to go ink this back up, probably with the same ink, or I'm going to use the Pelican Brilliant Brown, which is a beautiful color. I hope to hear from you. Send me any questions that you might have. And... I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.